Hi, this is Dr. DeVisquale, and today I'm here to talk to you about the most common allergens that we face. So studies show that about 20% of people react to some sort of allergen. And basically, an allergy reaction is really the immune system's overreaction to a particular antigen. And that just depends on what our body is going to be sensitive to. So in Florida, one of the most common things that people are allergic to is obviously pollen. And the symptoms that people can have can range from anything from itchy eyes, runny nose, um, but sometimes it can be more severe than that. The next one is pet dander. So pets are so wonderful and cuddly little creatures and they're great, but sometimes when we're allergic to our pets, we can have adverse reactions. And again, the symptoms can be as minor as a little bit of eye irritation and much more severe like nasal congestion, itching, and things like that. The other one that people tend to be con react to is dust mites. Now dust mites are not things that we can see, but they tend to reside in our bedding and can cause serious issues, especially for people who are allergic to dust mites. My recommendation in addition to medication that may be necessary is to wash your sheets in really, really hot water so that the dust mites are killed. Also there are um, pillow covers that are available as well as mattress pads that will prevent your contact or at least minimize your contact with the dust mites. Mold is another one that tends to be very prominent here in Florida. And recently after Hurricane Matthew, mold has been really prominent due to all the flooding in our area. And people have been having really bad reactions. Now mold reactions can often be as simple, like the simple runny nose, watery eyes, but sometimes it can be so severe that people start to have lung sensitivity, wheezing, and fatigue, and, and the list really goes on. So these are the most common triggers for allergies that we usually face and uh, some are a little more common here in Florida but this way if you are experiencing some of these symptoms and you're not getting relief it may be time to see an ear nose and throat professional this is dr. D. Pasquale thanks for watching